Yes, sir. Gentlemen, this is Premier Recreation and Esports at your service. Today, I'm going to be fishing for pretty much anything that bites. But starting off right now, man, I'm about to go to one of my favorite lake trout holes. I'm going to um, show you where I am on the map in a second. And let's see if we can catch one of those big, bad lake trout. Mm -hmm. Open it. Won't take too long for them to bite. Hopefully it won't. 66 pound test. No, 66 pound rod power. Um, let me see what side hooks I got, man. Level two hook. Now remember, the bigger, I mean the smaller the hook size. The bigger the hook, the bigger fish you can catch with that hook. But then once you go to the odd, like one odd, two odd, three odd, four odd, four slash zero, three slash zero, whatever. Um, in those situations, I actually think those are bigger. Those are bigger than the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, regular numbers hook. So I haven't really fished with those that much. I tried, I haven't caught anything yet with those numbers but pretty sure if you get a bite with some of those it's gonna be a trophy fish anyway but yeah man we just out here having us a good time mm -hmm. i know it's a little bit boring to sit here and watch somebody fish and you ain't out here fishing with me, but that's all right, man. Ooh. Fishing with corn. Let me show y'all where I am. Hopefully, I don't get a bite. Let us change some things. In this top left corner up here. Uh, Golden Ridge Reserve. Golden Reserve, whatever it is. I forgot the name of this reserve. But yeah, man. Also... If you're going to be fishing for fish like lake trout or any deep water fish, the colors, you see the water colors different throughout the map right here. It's darker. The darker the water, the deeper the water actually is. So you want to find the deepest water on the game? Yeah, man. That's what you do. This is what you do. And, um, I'm fishing in 66.8 feet of water. You don't have to necessarily be in the middle of the lake and be at the absolute deepest spot. But I just like to, I like to uh, fish in these spots. Like kind of not quite in the deepest part, but where it starts to drift and get a little bit deeper. If I don't catch anything in a few minutes, I'm gonna move to another spot and I might, I might switch over to. Uh, might switch over to something, maybe artificial jerk bait or something. Level two jerk bait. Level three. I'm not gonna lie, man. Northern pike, are my least, I can't say least favorite, but one of my least favorite big fish to catch. I mean, I, I like the tiger muskie better, but that northern pike is definitely probably the hardest. Well, one of the hardest fighting fish on the game. Pound for pound, it might be, but. Uh, lake trout get so big on here, man. <laughs> they get so dang on big. I got a feeling I ain't about to catch nothing right now. I don't really take this long necessarily. Yeah, we about to head on to my other little lake trout spot. Right here. What trail here is this? Blackfoot Basin. Y'all see where this is on the map? Blackfoot Basin. All right. Fast travel right over there. And if you don't know how to, uh, you can leave a waypoint. Not a reason a waypoint. A marker. If you found a hot spot on the game, leave a marker. And you can, uh, with that marker, you can label it whatever species you caught in that area or whatever, or whatever species somebody else caught or whatever. Yeah, man. 
We at you today. We at you. <laughs> Look at my boy. Look how he running it. Look at this shadow. Run like the wind, boys. I run like the wind. I got caught on fire. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. This is a good lake trout spot right here, man. Especially come here at night. You see it's a little bit deeper in this area. Remember I said the water color, more shallow waters. The more shallow, the lighter it would be. So the deeper, the darker it would be. Sometimes guys will come up here and fish right beside me. This is last time I checked. Probably This is probably my favorite lake trout spot on the entire game right here, man. Look at John. Come on, man. I got. I'm getting tired of y'all fish. If I don't catch that right here, man, I'm gonna take y'all to my bass fishing hole. And I know I'm gonna catch something at that one. I know I'm gonna catch a big, nice, and pretty looking bass. <laughs> I can catch them pretty easily. I guess I can show y'all the tricks of the trade. Show y'all the tricks of the trade, man. I don't, I don't know a lot of people. I mean, I haven't seen anybody make a video about my bass fishing spot, but I made it. Uh-oh, I got a bite. All righty. Come on. See, one thing about this game, man, any of you any of you newbies gotta grind, man. This lake trout are not a spe they are not a species that you should start out with when you first get the game because you're not going to be able to unlock the gear and purchase the gear needed to land them easily, man. I mean it's I have fought lake trout for probably 15 to 20 minutes on this game no exaggeration maybe even longer than that and you don't want to be i mean sometimes you're not even going to be able to catch them because when you don't have good enough a strong enough line and a strong enough rod what's going to happen that fish is going to run you know just pull your line out until it gets to the end and the tension is going to be on the spool. Your line is going to break at the spool because they are going to run that far out and you won't be able to turn them around. So right now I'm fishing with braid. Uh, I can't remember the test, how strong my line is, but I got my drag set up 100% and whatever, whatever my line is, this fish is not. This fish is not heavier than my line test, though. Because if he was, he would be, he would be destroying my, uh, I mean, he would have been all the way in the red and not just a little bit from here, here and there. Now, he ain't budging. This is a decent fish now. He ain't budging. You know, if I had to guess, it's probably something in the 20s, low 20s, I, if I had to guess. I hate that he ain't budging. I mean, he's just sitting there like a knot on a log. I mean, this sometimes man, it takes so long that I just sit here and and just hold down uh, RT and LT and just because <laughs> I'm on Xbox, so I just hold down that and 
fish as long as I need to. Like, it's crazy that the fight is actually this long, man. Snap, cracker, and pop. It's... So, man, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man, for more videos like this. Hunting videos for um, the hunter, Call of the Wild. Mm. Call of the Wild, the angler. Oh, goodness gracious, man. This is. Oh, man. I'm looking for Nick. Yup. Come on, man. Can I get a what? What? Can somebody? <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong with a little fishing ground. Wow, man. This is going to take forever. I probably won't be doing many videos like this. With Lake Trout because, man, I don't care about a short attention span. And you watching me just, whew, man, this fish is wearing me out for real. Like, literally, playing this game makes my fingers hurt. Uh-oh. 93.2. That's what that sounds like a good radio station. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Super. Come on. Then here's the thing. Eventually, when they get tired, it'll just start. They'll come in like a wet rag, and then uh, those numbers down there will just start. Like, they just come straight to you, pretty much. And won't be many pauses. Come on, come on. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming around the mountain. And, and one thing about it, when they come in fast like that, usually they'll come right to you and get maybe 30 feet away from the boat. And have one last run. I ain't going for it. I don't. I ain't going for it. Mm -mm. I'm not going to be in my -E A-T-E-D. Fifty six, come on man. Sometimes moving your rod to the left and right does help. It it, it can help. Cause uh, it, it helps turn them, especially when you're struggling with a fish. It can buy you some time more than this thing. Oh man. Mm, oh, I'm just... oh, leaking. Mm -hmm. Come on, fish. F I S H, Mr. Fishy Fish. I like fish. Mr. Fish, fish. Come on, Mr. Fish. I ain't talking good fish, but fish. Come on, Mr. Fish. Well, I need. He's 33 feet away, gentlemen. This has been a long haul. I have my drag at 100%. Are you noobish? You don't want to have your drag at 100% fishing until you have high quality equipment and have a uh, line test that is far above the species that you're targeting.
I don't remember. I do not remember having no blonde beard. <laughs> I did not remember a blonde beard, man. I, I do not remember doing it. Nineteen point fifty four pound lake trout. I do not remember a brown beard at all. I don't like that. I'm gonna have to change that. I can remember the sunglasses. Brown beard at your service. But my my brothers and sisters, this is well I'll show you. But you travel to Bannox or Bannox Knock. La uh trailhead or uh, outdoor. And you drive. That's a long walk. And that's a cool thing about this game, man. You can actually fish from the bank. You don't have to be in a boat. And I like that a lot, too. Yep. Oh. Let me run and get my truck. How y'all boys like my truck? Or my Jeep? Apex. Well, Apex make a good Jeep, man. Ooh, and I can't say. I love this game, but they did uh, the handling on these vehicles is different. <laughs> uh, my right trigger is starting to stick. I don't like that. Crap. You might say you can't drive, man, but compared to the Hunter. The handling on this game sucks. But it is what it is. I mean, this is fishing is good. Fishing is good. And that's just my honest opinion. Let me clear my throat. Dun, 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 dun. Show y'all my good bass fishing spot. And you can catch tiger musky and trout, uh, orit trout, tiger musky, bass, largemouth bass. I like to line up by right. Mm, back up a little bit. A little too close for my liking. Um, I'm going to switch rod. Switch to my feet. Oh. oh. Spinning rod. Ain't she a beaut? You need a hook size 7 crankbait. Don't worry about the colors. Hook size 7 crankbait. Let me just throw it out here sometime. I normally throw it a little closer to the lily pad. Remember, crankbaits float. My real speed, put your real speed down to 1. I'm telling you, you can, there's so many people. So many people come and fish behind me and fish beside me because they'll start seeing me catching fish after fish after fish. They want to come over here and, you know, catch fish with me, which I don't mind. Don't troll me, though. You got some of these imbeciles like to drive over your boat and try to do everything to stop you. But, you know, I just block them, report them and keep moving. But anyway, man, um, this motion I'm doing, I'm twitching. I'm using my thumb stick to twitch and uh, mm -hmm. right on schedule oh i like look at that's a that's a that's not a fast action rod or how how it bends but that's cool bring that old big old bass in probably and it might not even be a bass i hope it is but might be one of those trout I look like a bass though now see this didn't take long <laughs> Hey, that's something. Look at that, man. Start recording, record what happened. Let me record this, man. It was cool. I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. I'm fishing with Bill Dance today. What y'all know about 
building outdoor. Well, I used to love it in fishermen when I was younger. Yeah, man, it's motion I'm doing right here. You want to twitch, and I'm twitching with my. See, see, I'm telling you, man. This is where you. This is the the best. The best. Um, by far the best. Bass fishing spot on the game, in my opinion. Uh, of course, it's probably ain't even gonna be a bass because the trout or it trout will tear up this thing. It's a little bit of suck or whatever it is. See, then there's somebody behind me right now. It don't take long, man. Once you start catching fish, people are gonna show up, and they might have already been coming here. Level seventy two. He probably knew about this spot before I did, but uh. This is a prime time spot, man. This is a good spot. Bass are a good species. Like this, a level seven crankbait, it won't be hard for you to qualify to unlock that or to uh, be able to purchase level seven crankbait. Like I said, don't worry about the color, color of the crankbait. Don't really matter on this game, I don't think. But uh, yeah, you just keep twitching like I'm doing. Just twitch it with the thumb stick. Usually, once you get it in close from 50 feet to the boat, you're going to get a bite. And, you know, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, man, I ain't, man, I ain't, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. I've been doing this year. Level, this probably ain't no big bass. But uh, really, man, my, my, uh, my, uh, what's that even a bass? It's like a pike. Three-pound pike. How y'all like my nine? Y'all like these old pike fish? <laughs> I don't like pike. I don't really like catching them. But they fight hard though. Now they use the tiger musket and cross a, a northern pike with a true musket to make the tiger musket. And the tiger musket actually get bigger than the northern pike as well as the um, true musket. That's cool, a hybrid species that is bigger than both of the uh, parent species. That's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, man, once you get from about 50 feet in, usually that's when you get you a bite. I don't necessarily get a bite every single cast. But I say 75% of the time I get a bite in this area unless it's just, um, like, it, sometimes it's kind of, you know, it can be kind of slow, but, okay, see, I have an Orit Trout. I don't really like them that much, it's kind of, you know, I don't enjoy catching them. Let me show y'all where I am on the map, though, man. I'm a little bit in this general area right here, just along these lily pads. Usually where I am on this side of the lily pads, I do my best. I do okay right here. But once you go back here, uh, maybe the lily pads go a little further. Because I know the water gets a little more shallow at one point. And see, the water is at 45 feet. I don't like doing my crankbait on the bottom on this game because the controller vibrates once it hits the bottom. I guess you probably could go turn that off if you wanted to, but uh, I don't like doing a crank bit on the bottom at the edge of the table. <sighs> and you don't have to constantly twitch like I'm doing. You don't have to do that, but I have a lot of luck doing that, so. You know, that's, that's a good time. That's a good old time. See, like I said, you don't get a bite every time. And I might still get one now. And you have to pay attention, man. Sometimes I'll be reeling it in and be almost uh, back at the boat. And I'll take that last reel and... I, I would like the emblem or the uh, notification comes across the, across the screen that says strike and 
I reel it in a little too quick and I'm not able to set the hook. So you need to watch and make sure that the fish are not trailing you. But that is cool. Look at my, my shadow being cast across the water. I caught a I caught a level, I mean a level seven pound large craft over here before I even had good equipment and I caught it. I caught it on a was level seven crankbait. But usually technically in theory, if I really wanted to catch bigger bass consistently, I would go to a bigger size crankbait. Well lower crankbait number, which means a bigger crankbait. However, however, <laughs> man, my dude is weird looking. Man. Look like y'all been on Breaking Bad or something. <laughs> okay, Mr. Trout. Come on. Throw it back over here. Hopefully, we catch it there. But the only reason I don't like using the bigger crankbaits in this spot is because I'm going to catch more so tiger musky. And, well, I like tiger musky. But when I'm set on large my face, I don't want a tiger musky. But northern pike and tiger musky are going to inhale the bigger crankbaits. And the crazy thing is, when I'm trying to target the tiger musky, the northern pike are going to destroy. Like, if you go to the little handbook and whatever and look at the species and see the characteristics and traits and what they like, dislike, things of that nature, um, there's really no difference between the northern pike and the tiger musk in terms of their diet. So I, I am not familiar with any lore on this game that the tiger musky eat that the northern pike don't eat and vice versa so unfortunately that is can't really have one without the other but it makes sense since tiger musky is the hybrid species anyway man we're gonna go fishing man. that's like two or three casts in a row with no bite or a few casts in a row without a best bite but Oh, I'm pretty sure that might be that might be a lure that I can use to catch a bass that tiger musky won't bite. But as far as the things I fish with, as far as the things that I fish with, um, I I don't um. Usually the thing that those whatever baits and lures that the tiger musky won't eat that the bass will eat, I probably don't like. I like eggs or something. Come on, man. I'm tired of these little flunky uh, trout. All right, y'all. I'm going to give y'all uh, crap. I'm going to switch over baits. I'm going to switch to a uh, three eyes. It's pretty big. I'm going to go to a level three jerk bait. Number three jerk bait. Now the jerk bait does sink, which is cool. Need a good second bait. Need to get my fishing license in real life. Buy me a truck soon. F I S H I N G. F I S H I N G. Now, my real speed, I had it on three, but I put it down to two because I do better with it on two for a jerk bait fishing for Tiger Muskie and Northern Pike. Okay, my drag is set to 100. The fish is a little chunky. He might be a Tiger Muskie. I don't know. Nah, he look like a pike. Looks like a pikey. Pikey, 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 pike, pike, pikey, 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 pike, pike. Level nine. I mean, not level nine. I'm fighting a little bit. 
Nine pound. Look at my boy, man. That dude is weird looking. Once again, guys, this is where I'm fishing. Bannock's knock. Record what happened last minute. I think I'm going to catch one more fish, man. We're going to wrap this video up, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Show y'all a couple nice hot spots. And feel free, anybody that's new on this game, man, hey, I had people help me along the way. So, man, don't be afraid to ask questions. So that's how we learn, man. Yeah, buddy. I love to catch pretty fish. And that's another thing, man. You see the water column. I'm in my depth in the water column right now. And um, reel too fast and bring that jerk bait up to the top. And you don't really want that. Yeah, man. I'm fishing and I'm on a mission. From the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I love big old bass. I don't, know, I don't think I ever caught a bass with a jerk bait on here. Maybe because I, I, when I have my jerk baits, I don't fish with like a number two or three. I probably want to catch bass with it, but I guess so. Come on, man. Let me get one more bite for the road. He heard me, didn't he? He heard me. Oh, okay. This might be a decent fish, now. If he start pulling, well, oh yeah, if he starts uh, pulling and uh, I can't really turn him, that means he's a great fish. Because with this spinning reel set up, not many fish that I can just drag in. But this fish is putting up a fight, so he's going to probably be more than nine pounds. Probably not a northern pike. I hope it's a tiger musky. If you ever on this game and you see a real chunky looking, blocky looking fish jumping in the distance, it's going to be a tiger muskie, even though they're not real blocky and chunky once you catch them. But just something about that animation that makes them get, seem like they're kind of square and bulgy. Yep. <laughs> and this might be a tiger muskie. Harder to tell when they're underwater. It's got a lot of gold lace, pelvic fin, and caudal fin. Yeah, that's a tiger musky. Pretty sure it's a tiger musky. Come on, Mr. Tiger. Mr. Tiger. Tiger Woods. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Come here. Come on. Ooh, a gold. Tiger musky. Keep in mind. This is not my best tiger musky ever. That's just not my PB tiger musky. Look at that. Look at how realistic that is. Let me see. This is the pelvic fin. Uh, this is the pelvic fin. Technically, that would be the dorsal fin. Anal fin. Caudal fin. And the pelvic dorsal. What's that fan right there? I forgot the name of that fan in the middle. Technically, all fish won't really even have that. Pelvic dorsal. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they call that one. Uh huh. Yeah, man, I'm about to wrap this up, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. It's going to be more videos on the Angler Call of the Wild. Mm -hmm. And then please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, man.